Hey, hey, hello, welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. This is your girl TM, and I'm back with another pick a card reading for all of you. You guys love it in the short video. I just made the, uh, you know, um, the short video on my channel. And then shots, um, good news coming in your way. You guys love it. So I thought I need to do this pick a card on what is the good news in a more detail to tell you that what the, is the good news coming in your way regarding love, career, your life, your growth. I don't know, whatever will come, I'm going to tell you what is the good news is all about, right? So keep an open mind. So general reading, take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, you can also book a personal reading with me. If you're interested, everything is given in the description box. I know the box is um, shaking because of the air, okay? So don't worry about it. Uh, so be careful uh, from the scammers and fake people. If you're new on my channel, I don't reach out to anyone, okay? This is going to be your responsibility if you're going to book it or whatever you're going to do it. Um, if you're interested as a, um, as a client, you're going to reach out to me and everything is given in the description box. I don't reach out to anyone to book the reading through any ways, through any means, okay? So yes, um, there's a three groups in front of you. Choose intuitively uh, and I'm going to meet you on your reading. Like, share and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you love what I'm doing, if you're resonating with it. If it's not, then definitely let it fly. Maybe this message or this channel is not for you, whatever you are manifesting. Option number one is this beautiful um, silver box, gift box, okay? And number two is this uh, dream catcher. Number three is this flower. The shiny silver flower. So choose intuitively and I'm going to meet you on your reading. So let's start the reading, guys. Like, what is the good news coming in your way? And what is this all about? Hey, group number one, the people who choose this box, welcome on your reading. Let's see what is the good news is all about. I'm using Oracle's deck and Tarot. So let's see from this Lenormand deck. We have the bouquet. Oh, we have the ring. Okay. <laughs> we have the shape. I love it. This is a very good energy. We know that where are we going. Okay, from this we have the passion, this heart. Oh, yes. It's it's all surprise. And then we have the self-indulgence. I hope you can see all the card here. Then we have the introvert. Then we have crush. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. someone's crushing on you or you are getting with your crush we have healing energy from this oracle we have conversation from this oracle then we have despair we have um, consolation then we have keep an open mind it is safer to love okay and let's see from this what we have from tarot we have seven of wands and we have the ace of cups oh i understand now so you could you could be a water sign pisces cancer scorpio or fire sign uh, aries leo sagittarius or this this could be the signs coming in your way but i'm also getting fire and water combination here okay so um Mm, interesting. I'm going to go with the bouquet hair and the ring. This is definitely talking about um, proposal. It's a proposal coming in your way with this, the bouquet and the ring. The first thing I get, it's a marriage proposal or this is some type of a proposal. Like I'm also getting Ace of Cups. It is someone also offering you love or someone want to date you. Okay. Or this could be your crush who is going to express their feelings to you or this is you. Okay. You are dating your crush. This is what the good news is all about, okay? Your next partner is your crush. Like you're going to date this person or this is someone that who is going to propose you, you know, or maybe this is your crush or maybe this is someone who is crushing on you. They're going to propose you. They're going to ask you about love because I'm getting like they want to date you with this ace of cups, okay? This is like a new love offer coming in your way. It's a proposal in the way. But for some of you, I feel like you're being resistant here with the seven of wands. You're like, I don't know what this person is all about, but universe is saying you need to explore it because with this crush, maybe this person is crushing on you or maybe this is your own crush, you're dating your crush. But this is a proposal here, by the way, with the bouquet and the ring. It's a marriage proposal. It's a romantic proposal. It's a love proposal. But for some of you, it could be um, an offer coming, like regardless of um, some type of a job opportunity, 
a career opportunity with the Ace of Cups, especially if you are in a career field like creative field. So someone want to work with you or want to collaborate with you. Okay, but I'm strongly feeling with the seven of wands and self-indulgence, you are going to resist it. Okay, so this is like you are being focusing on self-worth, like you maybe have a self-esteem issues, you maybe feel like this is too good to be true, or maybe this person is not right for you. You maybe need to, you know, work on your time to heal and shadow work on yourself. I strongly feel for some of you, you have a strong chance to date your crush. You need to ask that person. Maybe that person is also interested in you, but you are too afraid to ask your crush for dating or asking out for romance. You know, like maybe you need to, because we have also healing energy here. So this is your self-worth issues here that is stopping you to approach this person. I feel you need to start a conversation with this person. You need to tell this person how you feel. Um, maybe you need to ask them out if especially if this person live far from you then definitely contact them offer them something But if this person already crushing on you, I feel like this is someone who who has a crush on you Then definitely it's like maybe this person is going to approach you. They're going to propose you They're going to talk to you. They have a lot of passion for you. They have a lot of desire, but you are not feeling it You're resisting it you're like, no, I don't know, because this is your self-esteem or self-worth issues. Maybe you feel this is person is playing with you, or maybe this person is not good for you, or maybe too good to be true for you, some, some type of a thing here. Maybe for some of you, you feel like this person is very desperate, or desperate, you know, want to be with you. But it's not the case, I feel like, because they're saying to you that keep an open mind. It is safer to love. You need to open yourself to this person, or whoever this person is approaching you. Okay, we also have an introverted. So maybe this person is introverted. Okay, uh, if you are crushing on this person, universe is saying you need to make a move. Tell them. Maybe this person is whatever you are thinking. Maybe they're not like that. They may be also watching you. They may be like you, but they are introverted. Like they are not open up too easily. So you may, maybe you need to make a move here. Okay, uh, so and for others of you, this is that person who is an introverted approaching you. Okay, they want to... Yeah, you maybe think this person is a, is a playing around and want to play with you, but it's not the case. They This person really want to fight up for this attention. They maybe want to work on this connection. They are going to prove it with the Seven of Wands. And Ace of Cups, maybe you need to give this person a chance. And there's also a healing energy here I'm getting. Okay, and for some of you with this Ace of Cups and healing energy, and if you're working, if you have been working a lot of on, your, on your healing, on your inner work and your self-work, your shadow work, and finally your self-work is working and finally you're attracting a lot of people, I can see that. But still, you are maybe resisting people. You need to allow people to, in your space, especially if you're introverted, okay? You need to allow people to allow in your space and keep yourself open to trust again and safe for love. Then how, that's how you're going to meet people, okay? That's how you can allow people to come into your life. And if this is someone who's approaching you, because I feel this is your crush is going to express it. Either this is your crush. If you express them, they're going to say yes to you. Or for others of you, this is someone who is crushing on you. So they're going to propose you. They're going to express it. But you should not be resistance here. You need to open yourself, for open for yourself to have, to have this conversation with this person. To talk to this person or maybe this person is going to ask you out for meeting you need to give this a chance okay uh, i'm also seeing with this passion here so some of you this is talking about um with this ace of cups it's like a new job offer is coming with the ship it's like whatever you have been waiting for your ship is coming for some of you this is like your parcel is coming like if you order something like your especially if this is your ring like you order some type of a specific ring on online um, or maybe a specific customized ring or jewelry that you offer you um, ordered okay and this is coming and you're very excited and passionate about it I don't know this is very random but I'm also seeing with this ace of cups and ship and passion there's some some type of a new job offer is coming our creative offer is coming that is going to make you happy Okay, like you're going to be excited to work on this with the seven of wands. You're going to prove yourself like, yes, uh, I deserve this. I deserve this opportunity. I deserve this to prove myself. So this is like a ring and bouquet. It's like a proposal is coming, but in the form of creative opportunity, promotion, um, collaboration with someone, maybe because we have a conversation. There's, there could be some type of an interview that you need to do. Okay, for some of you, this is with, a, uh, with the ship I'm getting and the ace of cups is like a visa. 
a passport, like you're going somewhere in a different country or abroad. Um, yeah, I'm also seeing this consolation and despair here. So some of you with this energy here, with this despair here, um, there could be someone reaching out to you, want to have a conversation with you. Like this is someone that you're not expecting maybe. You maybe block this person or you maybe stop talking to this person. Maybe this person was keep, keep talking around, um, keep talking about you. Okay. This is someone, a male figure. I feel like especially a male person, like your, your friend, your ex-colleague, your ex maybe, or your colleague or co-worker, or someone that was very desperate. Like, yeah, this is someone um, who talked to your friends or people, or this is like a rumors. This person spread the rumors about you. Or about there's something here that this is someone who definitely for some of you with this despair and consolation this could be someone that i don't know the people are going to talk about this person if you have anyone that who who did suicide i don't know or wanted to have a dis, uh, maybe this person attempted to do to do this suicide okay and people were talking about this okay yeah like you you talk to your friends or people so maybe this is someone who is going to reach out to you or want to talk about thing Consolation, this could be someone that who's a diseased one, someone who took their life, like, I'm sorry, it's it's a suicide, or they just attempted this, to do this thing. Maybe this person is going to reach out to you, or you are going to get clarity about this person, like, why this person talk, or maybe if someone spread the rumors about you, like, you are doing this stuff, or there is also a bully energy here, I, I, I feel like either... You got bullied in the past and people talk about this. And this bullied, the person who bullied you, they are going to come to you. Um, are they going to reach out to you through your dreams or something? Like this person really want to talk? Are you going to listen about something about this person? Like there will be some, you're like you're going to, you're going to get information that this person is not in a good position mentally or they may be, did something wrong for some of you this is a criminal like someone who was criminal or they have a criminal record so you are dealing with that person or this person bullied you in some ways you're definitely going to get information about this person and and this is a good news for you because this person hurt you or this person put you or drag you into some type of a rumor or bully you in some way so finally you are going to maybe console for this person like you you're feeling going to feel bad but at the same time you're going to feel relaxed and like it's a good news for you that finally you get the justice here if this is the case here and for those of you this could be your family member someone who was toxic who was abusive who was criminal who was very bad to you like this person did something wrong and maybe um, they are not anymore in this life, um, in this world anymore, might be the deceased one. And finally, you're going to console or they're going to reach out to you like because their soul is not in a peace. So you're going to uh, have a conversation with them, maybe in your dream or overall, people are going to talk about this person. There's something about this person who's the deceased one, but this person was not a good person. So they did hurt you or they, they, they hurt maybe your family people or people around you. They hurt maybe your friends or there was a definite rumors about this person, very famous rumors and popping up things. Or maybe this person is the uh, spreading the rumors about you or your family or something. So there's something happened with this person that is a good news for you. You're going to like, wow, this person really is, 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 is this person deserve that. But at the same time, you're going to console this person's family or the other people or you're going to console yourself. Like finally you get the justice. Okay, that type of energy I'm picking up here. So this is that what the good news is coming in your way. I really hope it resonated. I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye. Hello, group number two. The people who choose this green catcher. Welcome on your reading. Let's see what good news is coming in your way. I Because you choose the dream catcher, I feel like it's like a, your dream coming true. But let's see. I'm using a lot of oracles, Lenormand. Let's see. We have the scythe. Yeah. Then we have the tower. We also have the rider. Here you go. Here you go. Okay. We have the Grim Reaper. Oh, Scorpio. You could be dealing with Sun, Moon, or Rising, or Scorpio. We also have the Palm Tree. 
So this person could be from the places there's a palm tree or beaches area, or country. There's a lot of palm trees. Um, let's see. Keep moving. We have the Taurus, Sun, Moon are rising. And we have the hot nerd. Oh, this person could have a tattoo on their body. This is definitely a guy coming towards you, a man. Let's see. We have the manifestation. Look at this. This beauty. Manifestations. Your dreams are coming true. Wow. Whoa. We have a merchant. We have scholar. This person could be older than you. We also have sweetheart. Ah. I love it. I love it. We have finances and career. And we have romantic feelings. Okay, keep going. And let's see from this two oracles card. We have the high priestess and we have the three of coins. Okay, so you could be dealing with Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Why I said that, I don't know, but this is three of coins. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, yeah, Taurus is very prominent here. Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, so we have a Taurus and Scorpio axis going on here. Like polar axis, Taurus and Scorpio. Maybe this person has a south or north node in Scorpio or Taurus. Um, whatever the case is, this person is um, your partner, your joint counterpart, your soulmate, your sweetheart, girl or guy, whoever you're looking for or waiting for, this is that person. Yeah, look at this. This is a message coming, a letter coming from that your sweetheart for some of you with this high priestess and you choose the dream catcher so this is definitely talking about your dream coming true you already know that um so i feel that you know that who this person is you already may be seeing this person in your dreams this person is trying to interact with you in your dreams or maybe you know that who this person is so this person your dream is coming true you know that especially if you're pisces scorpio taurus or you could be virgo you could be cancer or any earth sign like taurus virgo capricorn or it could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like you already know that who this person is. You know that your manifestations are coming true. You know that this person is out there. Or maybe you're already dealing with this person. The high priestess, this is someone could be a virgin. Or you could be a virgin. You're not going to be a single or a virgin anymore. Um, you could be a psychic by yourself. You could be a tarot reader, intuitive healer, dreamer. Okay. You could be a creative person. You could be an artist. You could be in this field and this person could be in the field of merchant. Okay. They could have a self-made business. They could own the business, family business. They are an entrepreneur. This person is very rich. I'm strongly feeling older than you, to be honest. And it could be a scholar. Um, I'm getting like they could be a teacher, lawyer, judge, in a police, military. This person is older than you, to be honest. Like there's a, a for some of you, this is like your guru who is going to help you. A good news is coming from your guru or mentor or teacher who's going to help you or guide you. Or you're going to, you know, get some type of a guidance from a guru who is going to help you to do whatever you need to do. Okay. This, there's also palm tree. It's a stability is coming. For some of you, it's a stable job is coming. And you're going to collaborate with the senior people who are already in this business or job. Okay. Or field. Whatever this field is. We also have the sweetheart. So some of you, this is your sweetheart coming girl or guy um, but this is you also going to be sweetheart of this person this person is going to treat you like a queen sweetheart because i feel this person is very rich and wealthy with this taurus energy okay and this person is rich they have assets they could own the family business this person could be an artist to be honest if you are not artist they could be an artist um famous pu public figure or popular Okay, and we have the palm tree. This person have a money. They are stable. They're secure. They're also going to, uh, you know, share their assets with you, their family with you, or, uh, everything. We also have the heart nerd here, by the way. This could be a Taurus heart nerd. Sun, moon are rising. This person could have a body a tattoos on their body. They could wear the glasses, I'm hearing. This person is very hot and sexy. They're very good looking, by the way. Doesn't matter whatever their age is. They could be older than you, but this person looks younger. Are they are fit very well, like they do bodybuilding or something. They, they, they maybe do exercise and yoga, I'm hearing. So this person is fit. They're not, if they're older than you, they don't look older. They're fit. I feel you are totally both opposites from each other. This person could be keeping an eye on you, watching you from afar. This is also, especially if this person is a Scorpio. Like this person is obsessed with you. With this three of pentacles and the high priestess, for some of you, this is someone who want to work with you. 
This could be a work offer is coming to be honest, like someone who want to work with you or want to work in with you, whatever you do as a craft or you could be a merchant like you work something, you sell something or maybe they want to sell their own atom to you. So this is a good thing. It's a collaboration with this person towards you. Like it's an equal give and take related with the money, career, job, stability. And you may be going to get it because this is like collaboration with a brand or um, their sales, their things. For some of you, it's an education field here I'm picking up. Someone is going to help you. Or there could be some type of a guru or mentor or it could be a psychic or tarot reader that you're approaching or healer or medium who is going to help you how to manifest your things into reality. Or you may be getting into this business. That is also a possibility. We have a finances and career. Definitely your, your finances and career is changing. Um, whatever you have been waiting for, it's coming. Finally, things are working in your favor. I'm also seeing find romantic feelings. Someone is going to express their feelings to you with this rider. This person is coming to express their feelings to you. Someone, I'm hearing that they're going to take you out of sweet. Like, like you're going to be shocked, whoever this person is. They're going to express it, um, their feelings. They're going to tell you that you are their sweetheart or they want to be, they want to make you their sweetheart if they did not already tell you. But this could be someone that you used to be sweetheart of this person. If this is someone coming from the past with the Grim Reaper, you maybe thought relationship is over, but it's not. This person is coming. This person is still in love with you. They still have romantic feelings for you. You maybe thought that there's no second chances, but this person really want to go and transform. So maybe you're going to see them in totally different person. And for others of you, this is totally a brand new person maybe coming. You maybe have a choices in love, to be honest. There is someone coming from the past, but there is also someone new here. Maybe you meet this person through finances and career. Because I'm saying the tower here. But for me, it's like a breakup here. You may be leaving something behind and choosing the new person. Because or this could be someone that you, you two had a breakup with, with the tower and Grim Reaper. This relationship was over, breakup. And finally, things are... You maybe moved on from this person, or but this person definitely did not move on from you. For some of you, you used to study with this person, or you know them from the past, okay? To be honest. You could be worked with this person, so this is some, that person. From your previous job location, or, or you used to work with this person, that person is coming maybe. Want to talk to you, want to work with you maybe. We also have a site. So some of you, this is your investment. This is your money. This is your time. You put your energy in this. So finally, whatever you have been manifesting, praying, wishing, it's coming true. You know better. It's stability. It's success. It's also someone coming to propose you. It's like I'm seeing courtship with a writer and a sweetheart. Like this person want to date you. You're going to be not single anymore. This person is going to ask you for dating, romance courtship and for others of you this is a proposal maybe coming from someone like this romantic feeling someone is going to express their feelings to you maybe you used to date this person in the past but you break up for some reasons and now you're coming back together it's like reconciliation but this person is a hard nerd they could be um a hearty or sexy they could be uh, intelligent i'm getting uranus vibes so they could be aquarius this is someone who's very um intelligent they're very intelligent. They could be a spiritual a teacher. They have a lot of knowledge. They could be spiritual being themselves. This person could be a star seed. Or you could be. Uh, I'm also getting a Muslim person. Maybe this person from the background of the Muslim. Or you could be a Muslim here for some of you. Or they could be, for some of you, I'm hearing this person could be from Middle East countries. Especially UAE. Yeah, because I'm seeing here. This person could be from Middle East countries. Or they could be, they could have this, this culture background, but they could be living with you or whatever, you, wherever you are. Okay. Uh, you could have a different background too, to be honest. So there's a tower movement here happening here. For some of you, this is your success that you're reaching out on some type of thing. Some of you are going to meet this person on some type of a very famous building I'm getting with a tower and tower. On the top of the building, like on the top of this tower, you're going to meet this person. This tower is also for me, it's like, I don't know, I'm getting like some type of an institute or castle or something that you're going or learning something. A museum or something. I don't know. You may be getting a job in these places. 
For some of you, you could be an occult or this person could be an occult, okay? This person has a deep knowledge of things, okay? They know how to heal, they know how to work, they know how to manifest, or this could be you. You could be a witch, you could be uh, in occult or this thing, okay? To be honest, I'm getting here. So your dreams are coming true, and you are already picking up on your dreams. You know that. You know that what's happening. You know that what's coming next. And for some of you, this is a job offer coming. Like someone want to collaborate with you, work with you because they feel like you're, you're a psychic, you're intuitive, you can help them. They maybe want to work with you, they want to sell something to you. For some of you, it's a scholarship too, like you may be getting some type of a scholarship and someone going to help you. You could be changing a location too with the tower and rider, you may be moving somewhere else, it's a good news. You're going to be selected or your, your time, your investments is going to be um, fulfilled through finances and maybe you're, you're changing a location or job or maybe you're going somewhere else to start your own business and finances, okay? So this is your reading. I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye. Hey, group number three, the people finally that choose um, this flower. Let's see what the good news coming in your way. I'm using this line on my deck and a lot of oracles cards. So let's see what's the good news coming in your way. We have the birds. We have the coffin. Oh, hell, the moon. Okay, let's see. Keep moving. We have the dragonfly. We have the runner. We have addict. We have cancer, sun, moon are rising. Especially cancer, moon. I'm picking up moon, moon. Yeah. Okay. Then we have listen deeply. We have uh, melancholy. Oh, shit. We have a fortune. And we also have old women. We have a worth waiting for. Free yourself. And then we have from tarot, we have the Empress, Taurus, Libra, and Four of Wands. Here you go. Here is Leo Sagittarius. I love this card. I love this deck. I'm in love with this deck. This is my beautiful deck. It's a tarot of divine, by the way. I love the scenery. I love the art. I love the colors. I love the images. I love the colors. I love the dressing. All that thing. This is my favorite deck. Okay, so, so the um, Empress and Four of Wands. So, <laughs> what should I say? We have the Empress and Four of Wands. 11-11. Empress is Divine Feminine. This is your Divine Feminine coming your way. And if you're the Divine Feminine, this person is coming. Like, let's get married. Boo. Yeah, this is your husband or wife, your life partner coming your way. For some of you, this is like, yeah, your ex-husband with a coffin or wife coming to you with the four of wands and the empress. Like you used to be married to this person. For some of you, you used to live with this person. For some of you, this is your mother coming home. Good news about your mother. Like she's recovering. She's good. She's coming to you, or maybe this is you, you are as a mother going to see your family, your children, or you are going to meet your mother for a long time if you are going somewhere, you maybe are far away from your home, from your mother, finally you're going to meet your mother or family. For some of you, this is a marriage um, proposal or, or someone's marriage you're attending, okay? Yeah, there's an old woman here and we also have the empress here. This is definitely an old woman coming in your life. It's a mother. It's a mother figure or it's a mother. It could be your sister. Uh, it could be um, your caretaker, like someone who's going to take care of your home, your family. Your, uh, someone who's going to take care of your mother. It's a good news, like you're, you're about to meet this person. For some of you, this is um, your doctor. You're going to have, uh, this could be your therapy therapist okay you're going to meet them you're going to feel very good to meet this therapist okay but this is an old woman um our mother figure who's going to be support you or help you guide you in a good way but this could be also a collaboration with this woman she's she's going to help you she's going to offer you or support you financially or help you or guide you financially this is like a fortune coming with working with this woman or this could be you you are an old woman 
and there could be an age gap. You're dealing with someone. There's an age gap here. So you could be this old woman, businesswoman. You could be in your 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, above. Okay, and you could be single mother or just a mother figure. And there's a lot of fortune coming in your way and you're abundant already or you're going to feel abundant very soon. There's a lot of money coming in your way. For some of you, this is with the empress and this... Um, and coffin and the moon is a mother so maybe if you lost your mother so this is um your mother property is going to be this is like a fortune this is like your mother's uh, money property is going to be in your favor or someone is yeah with the moon and coffin and the empress if you lost your mother so maybe your mother's um mother's home is going to be yours with the four of wands your mother's home you're going to buy maybe your mother home and someone is going to help you to buy your mother home if you want to be there. For some of you, it's, it's your mother property that is coming inheritance in you. But this could be you with this moon and old woman and the empress. And you could be the mother, mother figure here. And you're buying a house, a home, okay, with the four of wands. And... For some of you, this is uh, your divine feminine. I'm not saying that men or men or women. I'm saying divine feminine. Your divine feminine is coming towards you because it's 11, 11, it's a twin flame. And we have the moon. It's a lot, a lot of intuitive connection. You're about to, this is like a good news coming from your divine feminine. Who was keep running away from you with the runner here. And you were, it's like a runner and chaser dynamic. This person run away from you. The divine feminine. This could be a male, but they have a divine feminine in themselves. Like they have a you know a feminine side more. Or you, this could be you. You are the feminine here. And I'm not saying that. This is your divine feminine who are running away from you. Who are running away from this relationship. They were not facing it. But finally, they're going to accept it like you're the one. So they're coming back. It's a good news from your divine feminine. Okay? And But it's also good news about your mother. About your mother home. Your mother land, maybe you're going there. And if you lost your mother, so this is definitely some type of a property is coming. Good news is going to be in your favor. Or maybe you're going to meet your mother in a dream. Or this old woman or therapist or mediumship is medium person is going to help you to connect with your mother. Or maybe you're seeing this old woman already. Um, some of you, this is your grandparents, like your grandmother grand grandmother she was really abundant and you're still carrying her inheritance or fortune or money our home for some of you this could be a gen uh, generational thing here that you're carrying i don't know what does it mean it could be a business it could be uh, some type of a talent or skill that is coming from generational to generational and finally it is going to be given to you so it's a good news like you're going to be get chosen for this work for this home for this uh, property inheritance or this this offer there's a great fortune coming, by the way, I'm getting. There's a great fortune is coming. Good news. The bird, it's the news is on the way. And this is like going to be a money here, talking about money and finances. But we, this maybe there's an old woman who's going to help you in a business, in a job, or I don't know, any old woman. Or this could be you or an old woman if this is the same gender sex relationship. Maybe you're coming together. For others of you, this is a age gap between you and this person. You could be the old woman watching this video. Or you could be older than this person. We have a melancholy. So some of you, you are in this energy of being melancholy, being disappointed and sad. Things are not working. There's no money. There's no love. What should I do? You need to work on yourself, I feel, especially on your uh, negative energy. Because it's worth waiting for whatever you're waiting for. And you also need to free yourself. Because you're really uh, obsessed with the time. And this is the definitely... A very common thing you can see that every day on my channel and other channels it's like people want to know that when 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 you're obsessed with the when and timing you're all, all automatically delaying it so just trust the process just go with the flow and because addict maybe you are this addictive and obsessed with the things and time like when when it's going to happen it's never going to happen if you're going to always seeing clock every day waking up and like oh so today is also not the day no Keep doing, keep working on yourself. Keep doing your own stuff. Things will happen when the time is right with the worth waiting for. We don't know. It's a divine timing. It's a God timing. When God is saying, say yes, it's going to happen. Yes. Nobody can help you. Nobody, nobody can predict exactly the time. Okay. But anybody can help you 
in this way. So you need to understand and allow the situation and process to happen. Okay, I'm also picking up another thing. The person that you're going to marry with the four of wands, this person's mother and the old woman is going to give you a lot of things. I don't know. Like your mother-in-law. Okay, she's going to give you fortune. Or maybe she's going to give you or help you something. With help you something. Or she's going to give you some type of a fortune, a reward, an inheritance. I'm also saying jewelry. Something like, you know, that is caring from the generation to generation. So the person that you're going to marry... This person's mother is going to give you a home as a gift or, or their inheritance home. Okay, their signature home, their signature, maybe jewelry or stuff. Something that she's going to give you. Or maybe she's going to give you some type of authority over other um, people. Like she's going to give you some type of a great fortune. Give, going to give you some type of a position because she knows that you are the one with the empress. You deserve this. Especially the mother of... Um, your partner, your husband, okay, our wife, if you're a guy watching this, she's going to help you something, she's going to give you something, maybe this is happening in the future, right now, no, but if you're already married, maybe she's going to help you in something, okay, this is definitely a very special thing here, I'm getting, um, for some of you, good news is coming in the way that you're becoming mother, this is also pregnancy here, maybe for some of you with the moon and the empress, you're becoming mother. It's like you're celebrating with your partner. But this is also a marriage here. For some of you, it's a marriage proposal or you're getting married. The good news is that you're getting married. You're not going to be single anymore. You will be in a relationship. If you believe in a relationship, living together. So this is four of wands. We're living together. But I am seeing it's a traditional marriage. You can see that. It's like a Hindu marriage, Indian marriage, but it could be anything. I'm also getting like Thailand here, something with the Thailand, Bangkok, uh, you know, and it's also Korean wedding or something. Like there's, there's a traditional wedding here. It's a Muslim marriage too. There's wherever the, and Bangladesh, these countries, right? I don't want to take the country's name. And also it's a, you don't, it's a Middle East countries, you know, they, they definitely, their brides, uh, you know, and the groom and the, their traditional marriage is very, very rich and wealthy. Like they, in culture, rich and um, wealthy in culture. Like they, it's a traditional marriage. Whatever your tradition is, you're going to get married in a traditional way. Okay. We have a listen deeply. For some of you, choose your partner. Uh, okay. Very wisely. Listen deeply. You still have feeling for this person. If this is someone coming from the past with the coffin, you still think about this person. You still maybe dream about this person. Don't worry about the gossips because I'm seeing the birds. People are going to gossip about it. If this is a intercaste of marriage or something to out of caste or out of culture, religion or something. So do not worry about people. Listen deeply, whatever you want and your partner. So definitely connect with your emotions and feelings. We also have a cancer energy. So this is someone who's going to help you grow. We have the moon coming up like this, crescent, waxing, and we have the full moon. So there's definitely, you maybe have been in a cycle with this person for a long time. And finally, this cycle is going, going to complete it. And there will be an end of cycle. Like finally, things are coming into fruit, fruition. With this full moon here, you can see that. Your blessings are coming in your way. Fortune is coming. Your, your manifestations, abundance are coming in your way. This person could be a sun, moon, a rising, or cancer, or they have a cancer or moon, or they have a strong cancer in their chart. They will be very loving, family-oriented person. Okay, they, they're going to help you grow. This could be someone who's artistic. They could be very hot. If this is a guy, this person's very haughty, good-looking, charming, attractive. Um, for some of you, this person could be a white person, like you could be a white and black couple, something. You both... This person is definitely, they could have some addictions too with this cancer energy. They could have some addictions um, regardless of their mom or mother or family. There could be some family issues here or something with their mother and mom. So you're going to know that. For some of you, you may be breaking your own addictions. This is a good news. Finally, you're breaking the addictions chains or things that you have been codependent on things. But this is a runner coming towards you. This, this is someone who's used to be a runner. Or they run away from marriage, <laughs> they run away from relationships, and but now they don't want to. 
they want to definitely be here but you need to be patient here with this person it's worth waiting for and you need to free yourself for some of you it's a dragonfly it's like be light-hearted accept this change if this is someone coming from the past things are coming to light adopt and change for some of you you're changing a location you need to adopt and change um adopt this person a culture religion or they need to adopt yours so there's definitely you need to do there if you're going somewhere if you are changing a location for your job or business maybe this is a news here so maybe the coffee in here you are definitely look changing a location are you going back to your mother if you never met her or if you never saw her are you maybe going to somewhere your motherland or something you need to adopt the change i'm getting with the birds it's like a gossip here people are going to gossip there could be some rumors here that is that is going to come in the light a good news coming in the white light with the runner here uh, this could be a runner who coming back to you this person could be literally athletic okay they could be a sportsman or woman okay good news is also here someone is coming out of the jail maybe someone was in a prison so this is a good news that this person is coming yeah for some of you so this is your reading i'm gonna see you in the next video bye god bless you all i really hope it resonated with you